Hi everyone, I want to start this video by saying thank you so much for the 10,000 plus subscribers and in this video I want to take the opportunity to answer one of your most requested questions which is how to connect the servo driver the PCA9685 with an Arduino to control multiple servos using an external power so let's get right into it let's start by looking at the wiring and let's see what we have by the way i've done this before but with a raspberry pi and i've got a couple of questions to do it with an arduino so i'm going to do that for you guys um, let's look at the arduino first so this is an arduino uno i'm going to unplug everything because it makes it easy so i can show you all the wiring here but you can see what we need is this scl and sda pins if your Arduino doesn't have a CL and SDA, you can always use A4 and A5. They're the same thing. So A4 and A5 is the same as the SCL and SDA. In addition, we're going to need the 5 volt. This, this Arduino have multiple 5 volts. Sometimes you'll have the 1, so you probably want to use a shield or split it in a way. And then you're going to need the ground pin. So very simple here on the Arduino side. And then don't forget that you need to connect the ground pin on the Arduino. So the ground pin on the Arduino will be connected to the ground pin on the external power. I'm using these batteries as the external power. And you can see here, this is the, this is the cable that I used to uh, jumper the ground pin to the Arduino. So this is the connection between my external power and uh, ground pin and the Arduino ground pin. Let me take this off so you can see and we can probably this is where you connect the external power on the uh, servo driver uh, this one has a terminal which is nice some of them don't have a terminal i'll show you where you would where you would connect the power otherwise so let me get this out of the way and now let me get to this here these are just the servos connected to the shield very simple and easy uh, they start with zero and this is here the channel zero it doesn't start from one so it starts from zero and i'm just going to disconnect them from here um, it's easy just align the colors there's one for the voltage one for the ground which is the black one here and then one for the data um, let me just disconnect everything and that's the servo removed now let's look at this or this is the servo driver pca uh, 9685 if you look this is the channels this one is a 16 channel it connects the servos here start from zero all the way up and again they are labeled here so you can see ground the voltage uh, or the the positive is the middle and the data is the yellow channel um, they start here from 0, 1, 2, 3, as you can see the numbers. Hopefully my camera can show you that. And then this is the terminal where we connect the voltage. By the way, you can daisy chain those. So let's say you have another one of 16 and you want to connect 32 servos, or if you want to go over 16, you see here this other side that you can just connect in parallel to another shield. So if you have two shields, you use one shield to connect to the Arduino, and then the other side can connect to another shield, just connect the pins to each other. And here's the cables, by the way. So let's look at this side. Let's see if my camera can focus. Um, this is the ground pin. That's where the ground goes to the Arduino ground. Uh, skip this one here. And then this is the SCL and the SDA. This, they just go to the SCL and SDA on the Arduino. And like I said, if you don't have them labeled, they are A4 and A5. Uh, the VCC, which is the voltage, so that's the, the 5 volt on the Arduino. This is the, the 5 volt on the Arduino. Be careful, there is, there is this VCC or the 5 volt on the Arduino, and there is this, the V+. Plus. The V+, plus, the very last pin here, that goes to the positive voltage on the external so this is just like if you don't have the terminal you would connect the external battery voltage here and then obviously the ground is is the same ground because we're connecting the ground 
of the external power and the Arduino together. So the ground would go here. If you don't have the terminal, the ground would go here along with the Arduino ground. They can definitely touch each other. They can connect together. Not the voltage. The voltage, this is the very last one here, the very last pin. That's going to be the positive voltage from your external power. The VCC next to it, that is the positive voltage from the Arduino. So make sure you can tell the difference between these two. I'm going to take these out of the way. Uh, this is your uh, the driver board that we are talking about. And then the last thing, I'm going to show you and give you the code. So I'm going to take you to my computer so we can look at the code. Now let's take a quick look at the code. First, you, you do need to include and download this library, the Pulse with Modulation Servo Driver. Then instantiate this class from that library. And down here, we're just uh, defining some parameters. The first one is for the pulse with modulation for the servo. I'm limiting mine between 250 and 350. Of course, you can adjust this parameters depend on the range you want to get out of your servos. This is for the millisecond function, another limit here, and you can have your own range. So play with these ranges and adjust it to your needs. Now, this is just a servo frequency variable. I would leave this as is unless you know that you need a different value. Uh, here is my uh, counter just for the loop. So I'm looping through five different servos, and this is the counter we're using here. This is the void uh, setup function. So just to get a few setup here out of the way, uh, one for the serial monitor, and then for uh, some frequency for the servos and a small delay before we get started. Now let's look at the loop function and this is where the actual work is being done. So uh, this is the pulse with modulation set function. And you can see here, it's taking the servo number variable. That's the variable that we defined here in the before the loop. And so for servo number zero, we again start with zero here. And then I'm showing you here if you want to hard code the value. So the servo will move to, let's say, 300 and stop there. So if you want to hard co code the value, this is how you do it. Uh, let's say here, uh, let's do hard code the uh, value. Uh, another down here, uh, we have a, you need a small delay between uh, every time you send uh, a command to the servo. So this is a small delay here of five millisecond. And then the serial print is just to see which servo you're working on. You can remove this. This is not really needed, but I was troubleshooting my code and uh, this is helpful. Um, this is another way of doing it. Uh, so you were using the same function here, but you can see you are passing a variable instead, and this variable is being set using the parameter we set above. So this is the, the parameter here, the 250 in this case. And uh, you can obviously play with this to change it to however you want, but uh, that's like if you want the servo to move, let's say, slowly, and you want to get like a for loop instead of having... Uh, you know, jump directly to a value that is hard coded. So that's the difference, but it's the same function. So this is like the simplified version of it. Um, and this is more of like setting it based on a variable and a for loop. So I'll skip on to the next function, which is the milliseconds function. And this one is the same thing. I gave you an example here. If you want to uh, hard code the value, it would look like that and I'm hard coding it to the 1500. But if you want to use the for loop example, which is down here, and we're using the microsecond uh, from the above uh, limit here. So in this case, it's the 1200. Now, uh, you can play with this as you like. Don't forget to add the delays after these commands. Otherwise, the servo will not function. It needs a small delay. And here, we're just increasing the uh, variable that does the loop through the servos. And the last thing here, we have an if condition that says if my servo is uh, over than four, which is again, they start from zero because I'm working with five servos. So four is going to be my last one, then go ahead and reset to zero. So we start over 
from the beginning. I hope this makes sense. I will leave a link to the GitHub repository if you want to copy this code. And let me show you also the servos working here on the side. This is it for this one. Thanks again for your support. Really appreciate it. Let me know if there is anything you like to see on this channel. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one.